Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're gonna make some crochet Valentine candy. These are super easy to make and they make gorgeous little Valentines. We're gonna be making some one round hearts, seaming them together and putting a little stuffing so they're puffy. And then I'm gonna show you how to wrap one so it looks like a piece of hard candy in, in some cellophane. And then we're also gonna make a Valentine lollipop wrapped in cellophane as well. So we have, um, we're getting creative with some ribbon and I'm gonna show you how to wrap all this so it looks nice too. These make lovely, quick little gifts. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a ruler would be helpful if you need to grab a quick measurement, we're gonna be using some glue to glue our popsicle stick onto our heart. So I'm gonna be using hot glue. I have my glue gun here and some glue sticks, but you could use some craft glue um, and that would work fine. You just wanna let them dry like overnight. And we're gonna also be using a four millimeter G crochet hook. This is my Furls Odyssey in pink. I chose the pink today because it looks so Valentine's themed with our supplies and our yarn. Um, this is my Furls Odyssey in pink. I'll put the link down below and a coupon code if you'd like to get one for yourself as well as a discount. We're gonna be using just a little bit of um, fiber fill to stuff our hearts. You could also use some yarn scraps or kind of pull apart a cotton ball or something like that as well. You'll also need uh, some ribbon. Now I grabbed, let me just slide it. I have more than I'm showing here. Um, I grabbed a whole bunch of pinks and reds from my stash. I have all kinds of ribbon, just like yarn. Um, I have some satin ribbon. I grabbed some hot pink rickrack. There's some red satin, pink satin, some uh, polka dot grow grain ribbon some pink satin cording. Um, this is some uh, just some narrow satin light pink ribbon, just anything I had on hand that sort of looked like it would be Valentine's themed. And we're gonna be using that to tie our cellophane on. Speaking of cellophane, um, you'll need a little bit of clear plastic cellophane to wrap your candies and lollipops in. Um, now I have a giant roll here, kind of like what you make a gift basket out of, but for a small project like this, if you don't have any cellophane on hand, you could use um, even like a, a, a Ziploc bag cut open and tied, or um, in the stores around different seasonal times, like the holidays or Valentine's, they have little treat bags, and um, sometimes they're clear, sometimes they have little hearts printed on them, etc. But I'm going to be using some clear cellophane. You can kind of um, find some even uh, around the house too on used for packaging and other things like that. But we'll, we will be using those to wrap our candies up. Also, you'll need some lollipop sticks. Now these are from Wilton. They're sold in the baking aisle um, and they're called treat sticks. And um, they're used for like if you make homemade uh, lollipops or chocolates on a stick um, or cake pops is what I use them for. Um, clearly I've made lots of cake pops with this pack, but I had just a few left and um, these are really cute for that. If you don't have this, you could use a straw. Just be careful when using hot glue. You could use um, a paper straw, but if you use like a plastic straw, it, uh, the hot glue would definitely melt that. So just be very careful. Um, or a very small, skinny dowel rod cut up would work very well too. But if you have these on hand, great. If not, you could do um, just the candies and not the lollipops. And then finally, we are going to be using some worsted weight yarn. This is Wander from Furls. I've used it a bunch of times for a, a whole bunch of different projects. And I'm gonna be using the pomegranate. We are not gonna be using a full ball of this. This is a perfect project for some scraps. So some worsted weight scraps of yarn in like pink, white, red, any kind of Valentine color you like. Or if you're giving it to someone, maybe their favorite color as well. This is the pomegranate and um, it's a really bright kind of classic red color and I just thought it would be perfect for this project. Again, I have a discount code for this and the hook, the, the link to uh, the yarn and the hook because they're both from Furls can be found below for that as well. So let's get started. We're gonna crochet the heart first and then we're gonna move on to kind of the fun assembly part after that. Okay, so for our Valentine candies, we're going to be making one round hearts with our red yarn. And then we're going to make two per candy. So we're gonna kind of put them back to back 
seam them up, stuff them, and then turn them into either a wrapped, like hard candy looking candy or a lollipop. So let's start with the heart first. Again, it's a one round heart and it has a variety of stitches that will give us this lovely shaping. I've made a few here, I have a little pile, and we're gonna make one together, stitch by stitch, okay? So what we wanna do first is grab our hook and we are going to put a slip knot on our hook. Now we're gonna have a lot of stitches. Um, we're gonna work into the center of a ring in the round. Okay, so what we wanna do is wrap the yarn around our fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop and tighten. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to chain four. So let me just zoom in a tiny bit more here. To make a chain, wrap the yarn around the hook and bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna join in the chain farthest from our hook to create a ring. And that ring is what we'll be working our stitches into. And I do get this question a lot. Uh, those of you who prefer the magic ring instead of a starting chain to make a ring, feel free to do that if you'd like to do that. You can do either one is totally fine. So insert the hook into that farthest chain from the hook, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. And now our ring is complete, okay? So what I like to do too is open up this ring as much as possible because we're gonna be working a bunch of stitches in there and we wanna get it nice and opened up so we can see and work into it easily. So what we wanna do first is chain three. This chain three is gonna count as a double crochet. So chain three, one, two, and three, just like that. And then keeping that ring nice and open. And I'm also holding this tail along the edge so we can weave it in as we go along. You can also pull that tight when you're done your heart and that'll close up the middle a little bit. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is work two double crochets into the center of the ring. I'm holding the ring kind of in place as I work. So to make a double crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook, insert the hook into the center of the ring and bring up a loop. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Just like that, wrap yarn around hook, bring through the last two loops. And then we're gonna make another double crochet into the center of the ring. And if you notice what I'm doing as I work my stitches, I'm pushing them over as much as possible to give me more space on my uh, ring because they're gonna go all the way around. We're gonna work another double crochet into the center of the ring. Just like that, same way we did with the other one. And I like to go nice and slow because we have a smaller hook here and a lot of stitches. The next thing we're gonna do is work three treble crochets into the center of the ring. To make a treble crochet, wrap the yarn around the hook two times this time. Insert the hook into the center of the ring and bring up a loop. You'll have four loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. And I'm going nice and slow here. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the next two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. And we're gonna do two more of those for a total of three. And I'm sliding things over. All right, work a, your second treble crochet into the center of the ring. Just like that. And a third treble crochet into the center of the ring, still pushing those stitches over to give me some space. And let's work that third treble crochet. just like that. Next, we're gonna work two more double crochets. Still sliding things over. And we'll work two double crochets now. One. And two. I'm still holding that tail along the edge as I work as well. Okay, so here's my second double crochet. And then we're going to work a treble crochet once again. And then we're gonna work another treble crochet. For this treble, once we're done that, we're gonna add a chain one, and that's gonna give us that little point at the bottom of our heart. Now do another treble crochet to the center of the ring.
just like that. And then we're gonna do two double crochets. So we've started at the top, we're going around our heart, down to the bottom, and now we're coming back up. So two double crochet, one, and two, still holding that tail along the edge as we work as well. And then we need to do, I'm pushing those stitches over. We're gonna do three treble crochets to come around that side, give that side of the heart a little bit of puffiness. So one, two, and three, just like that. All right, now we have just a little bit more to do and our heart will be complete. So the last thing we need to do is add three double crochets. So one, pushing those over. We're getting a, a snug now that we're here at the end. Two double crochet and three double crochet, just like that. Okay, we're gonna shape up our heart in just a minute, but to finish it up, to make that divot in the center, middle here, we're also gonna work a slip stitch into the center of the ring. That will round off that side and bring it back down. So go into the center of the ring, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. And now we can cut the yarn and we're going to fasten off our stitch here. So we're gonna get that other tail out of the way. Wrap the yarn around the hook and just pull it through. Okay, so then what you'll want to do is, I like to flip mine over and that tail you wove in as you went along, give it a nice snug uh, tug and then snip that off. Just snip it flush, being careful not to trim any stitches. We're gonna leave this tail alone for a minute. And then what I like to do is just shape up the heart. We are gonna be seaming this, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect because we are gonna be also seaming it together. And get that point sharpened up sort of at the bottom and our heart is complete. So like I mentioned before, you're gonna need two hearts per uh, candy that you'll be making, okay? So I went ahead and made a few because I wanted to show you both the uh, wrapped in cellophane like a hard candy and the lollipop. So I, I went ahead and made a few. So you're gonna sort of like pair them off, however many that you're wanting to make, just like that. And then we're, what we're gonna do next is take our heart and we're gonna learn how to um, do the two different kinds that I'm gonna be showing you. So what you'll wanna do too is, let's grab two and we'll start um, assembling them. So take, if you have a, a tail that you wove in on the back, once again, trim that flush, if you haven't done that already. And you're only gonna need one tail uh, per pair of hearts to seam together. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hearts, now these are the backs of the hearts. This is the side that faced away. And I just wanna show you like the visual difference. You can see how different they look. This one's more, has like a more linear look. That's the front of your heart, the side that faced you while you worked. So you want to uh, take your two fronts and uh, your two backs, do the back to back like that. So put them back to back so the outside is facing on both sides. Next, you're gonna pick a tail, pick the longer one because you're gonna seam around, and you're gonna grab your tapestry needle and we're gonna start seaming next. Okay, I'm gonna take the shorter tail and I'm gonna just go ahead and weave that in right now, just to get it out of the way. You could also kind of tuck it in there, but I wanna get, as I weave, I wanna kind of pull this down a little bit and get that, that uh, little dip nice and, um, I guess, noticeable, if you will. So we're gonna go in the back, this is the back of the heart, remember? And you don't have to do it perfectly, you just kinda of go in a few stitches just to get it out of the way. And I, I like to pull it down a little bit so that, see how it dips down, pulls that down. Okay, so once again, we're just gonna give that a little trim. All right, we're gonna begin with our uh, candy wrapped in cellophane, how it's like twisted on both sides like a traditional like hard candy. So I'm gonna seam the entire heart almost all the way around. We're gonna stuff it a little bit and then finish seaming it. And then um, we'll be able to wrap it in the cellophane. The stick 
for the lollipop will be slightly different and we'll do that one next. Okay, so grab your two hearts and thread the tail and once again have the outsides facing outward on both sides and then all you're going to do is you're going to go into both layers and you're just going to whip stitch it together. Now if you're not familiar with the whip stitch, all that is is it's sort of like a spiral through your work. It's nice and invisible so you can uh, seam very cleanly. So I'm going to go in one layer and see how I've picked up both loops of that stitch. You're just going to go into the tops of the stitches that you created. Go into the next layer, making sure to pick up both loops. And we're just going to pull it snug. And then you're going to go into the next stitch that you see. And you're just going to go all the way around your heart. So go ahead and seam all the way around your heart. And if you run out of yarn, that's fine. You can just tie a new piece right on and keep on going if your tail wasn't long enough. Or you could, you know, start with a completely new piece of yarn if your tails were very short. Okay, so I'm just going all the way around. And obviously we want to do the same yarn because um, as you can see, it, it blends very nicely. Okay, so go ahead and seam your heart. And when we rejoin, we're going to stuff it a little. So don't seam the entire thing. Maybe leave, go around, and maybe leave just like this little pocket here open. You don't need to leave a big opening, um, but leave a little bit so that you can have some, um, it won't be too snug to try and stuff your heart, okay? All right, so I'm going to continue seaming all the way around, and when we rejoin, we'll just have a little opening left, and we're going to stuff it. Okay, so I went all the way around my heart and I've left just a little teeny pocket uh, to stuff uh, right here, okay? Uh, enough to like get your finger in there because you will be using your finger to stuff it. Now this is a ton of, let me just zoom out a little bit so you can see. This is a ton of fiber fill. It's way too much for this heart, but you just want to pinch like a little amount here. And I would start slow. So you want to just do just like a little pinch and stuff some and then maybe another pinch you don't want to put a huge giant ball of this into your heart because it'll stretch it out, okay? So I just put the tiny, you could see I put like the tiniest pinch and it's uh, nice and puffy now. So if you want to just do a little bit more, you know, do that, but you don't want to overstuff it because it will distort your piece, okay? Make sure it's all tucked in there before you finish seaming. Now my tail is getting pretty short, but I think I'll be okay. So I'm just going to finish seaming with my whip stitch all the way around my heart and now I'm back at the beginning and then what I'm going to do is pull it through but leave a, a little loop here. See how I left just like a loose loop in there and go through that loop and that'll create a knot. Okay and now to weave in the end it's super super easy. You're just going to go right into your heart and come out in another random location. Whoops. Mine fell off my needle. <laughs> so let's try that once again. We're gonna go into the heart, come out at a random location and pull that tail. See how it came out at the bottom? And then you're gonna give it a tug and a snip and that tail will sort of disappear back into the heart, okay? So this is our um, hard candy heart, if you will. You can kind of shape it up and there it is. We're ready to wrap it. Okay. I grabbed a piece of cellophane and our heart. Now this is about 12 inches by 12 inches. It's, it's way more than you'll need. So you could probably wrap a couple of these. Um, another thing I like to do, us fiber uh, loving folks, we always have a lot of fibers floating around. And the cellophane, whether you're using something recycled or something off of a roll, it's very kind of static clingy. So uh, give it a little brush before you put your candy in there because it'll everything is attracted to it, especially in the winter when everything is very staticky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our scissors. And again, this is a big piece. So what we're gonna do is I could probably at the very least cut this in half, if not into a fourth of the piece. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna trim the ends later. Um, so what we're going to do is gonna find the side that you think is prettiest and we're going to put that face down, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our cellophane and pick it up on the ends and sort of like 
neatly fold it down towards your candy like this and then flip it. And so it looks really cute. Now you're gonna grab your ribbon and we're gonna tie it. Okay, so we can put this aside for just a minute and it came undone, that's okay. <laughs> um, we're gonna cut two pieces of ribbon. I'm gonna cut them a little longer um, than I want just because it's small and you have to tie it and you're gonna be able to trim everything. So let's, uh, this came apart on me. So again, we're gonna put it in the middle, pretty side down that you want everybody to see and just fold it in. My apologies, I didn't realize that was gonna pop open like that. And then we're gonna hold it in place. And if you need to loosen it up, you don't wanna squash it in there, okay? Now, if you don't have ribbon or you just wanna use a matching piece of yarn, that would look very cute too, okay? So then we're gonna sort of give this a twist, like it was a real piece of candy that we made. And just kind of pinch it down. You can do that on this side too. It's not gonna stay, but just sort of to give you an idea like that. And then we can take our ribbon and obviously there's a ton of excess here. We're gonna trim it and make it nice and cute in a minute. Okay, so I'm gonna take my ribbon and I'm just gonna tie the side just like that. Um, again, making sure your candy has plenty of space to not look squished in there. And just tie it nice and tight. And then we're gonna tie a little bow on one side. And again, I have excess here. I like to give myself extra so I have room to work. I don't like to have these tiny little ends to try to deal with. It just makes it more difficult on yourself, okay? So I have my bow. And then we're gonna go down to this side. And it, uh, remember we pinched it on this side. And we're gonna take our ribbon. Again, everything is really wild looking right now. We're gonna neaten it up in just a minute. Okay, so get that nice and tight. And tie your little bow, take your time. And I just think these are really cute. All right, so make sure your, your loops of your bow are not super big because we don't want it to look uh, messy. Uh, those with loops that are too big look a little bit messy. Okay, so now we have this wild piece of candy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna trim the ends of our bows. Uh, a diagonal trim on ribbon looks uh, really pretty if you can do that. And we're just gonna give that a little snip. And then if you've ever made a gift basket with this stuff, um, you don't wanna get a jagged edge, you want it to look natural. So what I do whenever I'm making like a gift basket or working with this, I cut a little notch in it and I tear it and it just makes it look, and you might need to do that a few times, but it just makes it look a little bit less um, like have a jagged edge, okay? See how I just like pulled it apart? And then you can kind of open this up a little bit and just sort of, if you need to trim a little more, that looks still a little big to me. But um, I'm just cutting little notches and pulling so it looks more natural. But um, and then you can kind of open it up, open up the sides like that, okay? Repeat for the other side, cut yourself um, little notches and pull and then open it up, okay? So our hard candy is complete. It looks so cute. Wouldn't this be just such a fun little thing to like leave for someone? Okay, the next one we're gonna put together, we need to grab two more hearts and we're, we'll put this one aside and you can make a ton of these if you want to. The next thing we're gonna grab is our second set of hearts and um, Let's see, I want one with a long tail here. Well, actually, you know what? I'll show you how to do it if you didn't leave yourself a long tail. We'll do it that way. We're, we're gonna um, make our lollipop next. Now these, um, my knot was sliding, so if you have that issue, just tie your two ends together and it'll stay put. Okay, so you can trim your ends however you want and I'm gonna show you, in case you didn't leave yourself a long tail, let's cut this yarn. I cut myself a really long piece of yarn. We're gonna use that to seam this instead. So let's weave these ends in, and I'll show you how to do it if your, your ends were too short. Okay, so we have our two hearts. Ends have been taken care of. We're gonna stack them together like we did before. Remember the outside that faced you while you worked is facing out on both sides. Then we're gonna thread our tapestry needle. Remember we cut a separate piece 
Um, if your tail's too short, you can do this. Now, we're doing a lollipop this time, so we need to do two things. We're gonna seam it, but we're gonna start in a different spot because we need to end, start and end where our stick goes because we need the opening to be at the bottom. So we're gonna seam it, stuff it, and then add a stick to the bottom. So what we need to do is turn our heart over and we're gonna go locate the middle point of your heart, but then go off center a few stitches. So see how I'm just, I'm not at the point because I need to keep the point open. I'm just going off a little bit, okay? So go into both layers, same thing we did before. And then this time we have a separate piece of yarn. So we do need to tie this on. It's not already attached like it was when we had tails. And then what you can do with your tail that you just made here is just stuff it back into your heart. Um, nobody will ever see that and it'll be fine, okay? So let's um, go ahead and seam these hearts as well, um, leaving an opening at the bottom for stuffing and gluing our stick. So what you can do too is while you're seaming this, you can go ahead and plug your glue gun in and let it warm up while you're doing this because it'll only take a minute. So we're gonna go all the way around our heart and almost back to the point so we can leave a little opening at the bottom, okay? So go ahead and seam up your heart and then what we're gonna do is when we rejoin, we will assemble it. Okay, so I went all the way around. I'm just gonna put that last stitch in there. Just like that. Um, and then what you can do is this will be glued shut, this part. So we're gonna just fasten off here. So I pulled it almost all the way through. We're gonna go in that last loop, pull it snug. Okay, then what you can do, kind of like we did before. Now, just double check yourself before you finish that you do have an opening enough to put a little stuffing in there and glue a stick. So go back into that opening, come out in a random spot like we did with our other candy, and just give it a snip, okay? And then that tail is out of your way. Okay, again, double check your opening. Uh, we'll shape everything up in just a bit. Now grab a little bit of filling like you did before. Mine has a little bit of yarn through it, that's fine. Um, and we're just gonna sort of stuff it in there, okay? Do the best you can. Um, again, don't overstuff because it will look, um, it'll look distorted and it'll look a little overfilled and messy. Okay, so now my heart, it looks really misshapen right now, it's fine. We're gonna shape everything up at the end, okay? So, Get your stuffing all put in there. Make sure none of it's hanging out. And then we need to sort of get our heart uh, back together here, okay? So uh, you can squeeze the sides and sort of shape the bottom up. Just get it back, back in order, okay? Now, the next thing you wanna do is grab your glue and your stick. Okay, so my glue gun is warm. I have my little lollipop stick. And before you glue and commit to that, what you wanna do is make sure you wanna like get it the length that you want. And I think that that's a good length. You don't want it like super long. You want it to look like a real one basically, okay? So what I'm gonna do is sort of hold this open and be very careful when you do this, not to burn yourself, but just put a little bit of glue just kind of against this stick, okay? And you don't need a lot. A lot is not your friend. <laughs> okay, and then before it dries, give it like a little twist up in that lollipop. See how I'm twisting it? And it just closes it up so beautifully, okay? So easily and beautifully. So just give it a little twist. Not a huge twist, just like a little half twist. And then we can just sort of shape it up once again. And we have a little crochet lollipop, and it looks adorable, okay? So, um... If you need to shape things up, feel free to do that. Now let's wrap this one. We have our other piece and now we're gonna wrap this piece, okay? You might wanna like kind of flatten it up against that stick. All right, I have my other piece of cellophane from before. Again, if you have extra um, excess, if you will, we can trim that later. But um, with that static cling, I see red fibers all over this. So I'm just kind of like dusting it off here. All right, lay your cellophane down, and this time we're gonna sort of like lay our lollipop here, and uh, I wanna fold it over this time, okay? Whoops, that's ripping, so let me just go ahead and finish that. 
And then what we're gonna do is, uh, once again, you'll wanna pick a pretty side, what side you like best, and lay that against your table. Flip it over and then just sort of like wrap it from the back here, like that, and pinch. So you want as much of the front showing as possible. And you'll want to sort of um, give yourself a little bit of space in here too so that it's not squished. You don't want it to look squished. Okay, so for this one, I think I'm gonna do a layered look for mine. I have some pink grow green. I'm gonna cut it a little bigger than I want it. And I'm just gonna lay it like this and tie it. And then I think I'm gonna take that same pale pink that we used earlier and just kinda of like do a layer on top. So it's like a layered ribbon. You don't have to do this. I'm just getting a little fancy here. And I'm gonna tie that one down also. Um, I'm gonna kinda of crisscross them. See like that? Then you can take both tails and tie them together. Um, if you have a print like me, see how I have uh, polka dots? Just make sure that they're showing the way you want them to show. Okay, and I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna do a bow this time, I'm just gonna do like a little quick knot. Okay, take your time, make it pretty. These are cute little Valentine gifts. I'm trying to get a little bit of space up here so my heart doesn't look so squished. And the thing too about cellophane is that the more you handle it and, and uh, like mess with it, um, it'll, it'll start looking a little wrinkly. So you wanna kinda like handle it as little as possible so you don't have like a wrinkly look. All right, now we're gonna trim everything. Trim everything at an angle. It looks a little bit more finished that way. We're just, these are just kinda tied. They're not, we're not doing fancy bows on this one. And there is your lollipop. Now, the stick is kind of hiding up in there. So once again, remember how we did this before? Cut a little notch and pull. Cut a little notch in your cellophane and pull. We're gonna get this a little bit shorter. It's looking a, a little wild. So let's um, fan this out a little bit better to see what we have here. All right, so keep doing this. Cut a notch and pull. Cut a notch and pull. Uh, tearing it like this is just, um, to me, it looks a lot nicer. This is a little long back here. So just cut a little notch in it and pull it away, okay? And there is our Valentine lollipop. How cute is that? Now, you can make a bunch of these and get creative. Remember all the ribbon I showed you at the beginning of the video? You can get really creative with your ribbon. You could even drop some confetti inside and some sprinkles. And so here are our Valentine candies. We have a lollipop and a hard candy, and I just love these, and they're so fun. You can just kind of leave them for people um, and make their day. So that is how you crochet some Valentine candy. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlux video updates. Thanks again.